Hey guys, Kev here. So I wanted to include this video with my unboxing of the Thai EDS-2, I believe it's called, from Big Idea Design. So I've spent now uh, a few days with this. I've used it. Um, I've carried it. So I feel like I can now make a full judgment on it instead of just unboxing it. And you'll see in the unboxing, I really, I, I, I did not like this. And I still don't love it, but I wanted to include this intro because I felt like it deserved to be in there. Like, I, I don't like just pooping on things and walking away, especially if I just got it in an unboxing you know, if I've had it for a week and I do a review and I just don't like it, that's fair. But unboxing something and shitting on it and then that's it. I don't know. It just doesn't sit right with me. Um, so anyway, um, the issues I had with this are it's really hard to open. <laughs> so like you can't just flick it. You can't really just walk it out. You'll see there I got it out. Um, you have to like really get it to the side. So you have to kind of like angle out like that right now the reason that's easier now than in the video you're about to see is because i swapped this bit out so that's another issue i have is getting this bit out of here you have to use the other bit basically or something to like shove through there to pop it out um like that and you pull this out pop this in right and then you can slide this one back down in here and it doesn't really sit well. It just kind of like there's a magnet there and that's all that holds it in. But anyway, you'll see now it becomes ugh, a lot harder. Oh my God. Ow, look at my thumb. To open. And the problem is this bit. It, I guess, is there's more bit to it. So magnetically, it sucks it in more. So it makes it a lot harder to get out. Where if you have, say, a T8 in there, you put the T8 in, put this guy back down here, close it. Now it's a lot easier. So it comes down to what bit you carry in there, I guess. I mean, that's just what I've noticed. So now I can easily do that. Not easily, it still hurts a little bit, but it's not as bad. And I can just pop it out like that. So my biggest gripe with this item is that it doesn't open easy. Like it'd be nice if you just had, like right here, just have a little tap, have something. I don't know, have a little cutout so I can just put my finger around this and pull it out. I don't know. But having to do this kind of sucks. Um, that is okay, but only with, you know, certain bits. So, I don't know, it's just a pain. And then left-handed, you have to kind of, you know, flick it like that. You can do that, but you got to be careful. You don't want the bit to fly out. Watch the video, you'll see. Uh, but you can pop it out like that, and there you go. So, I don't know. Um, ergos, yeah, it's a screwdriver. I'm not going to sit here and break down the ergos, but it feels okay. I did use it on a couple knives to test the bits um, just to see how it was. Works great. Had no issues with it. You can actually get really good torque and good precision. I like that about it. Um, it's a frame lock design. So it locks up right there, but you can't really put pressure on it and make it like hard to open because of that. It's just a magnet. It's a magnetic detent, essentially. I go over all this in the unboxing, but I wanted to show some of it up close. The clip is too tight. I'm getting it in my pants. It just doesn't have a good ramp, I guess. It doesn't feel super tight, but like getting it over the material just wasn't fun. I was wearing um like 511 tactical pants maybe that's what it is uh you know this thin material it's popping over so could have just been my pants um but i venture to guess people putting this in their pants are wearing like carhartts or something like that which is going to be thicker and it was kind of a pain it's thick but it's a screwdriver so i'm not going to really fault it for that uh the other thing that this thing does that i didn't really like is it stores two bits back here and it has a stop pin here, so you can't slide the bits out this way, obviously. It stops. And then on this side, it has a little retention detent thing. So you can slide up, and then you have to get past that. It kind of holds it in place. Um, maybe I've done it enough times now that it just has become easy. So maybe it wears in, because when I was doing this 
in the video, in the unboxing, I had a really hard time getting these out. And part of it is this lanyard. It kind of gets in the way of getting them out. And then you end up shooting them out. But now they're now they're moving pretty smooth. So maybe they just had to wear a path on this titanium or something. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, so I will go ahead and amend that. I don't know if you could fit a third one. Let's grab a third bit. I was thinking you could probably fit a third one in here. So that's as far as it would go because it's hitting down here. Technically, you could sit that third one in there. And let's see. Yeah, it kind of works. I mean, you're going to have this in your palm depending on what you're doing, but... And it stays in there pretty good, but I, I don't think it's meant to have that many. So two there. So you got a total of four bits, basically. Maybe they were in this way. Is that why they were hard to get out? Let's just see. Oops. Yeah, they're harder to get out when they're facing that way. So you want them facing with the bit end up because that way they they have less area to clear here and it just comes out cool all right so that's good um yeah and then the pivot was a little loose so um there was side to side play there is lock rock that's one thing i want to note is there is lock rock you can hear it I don't know if you can see it, but it's going this way, back and forth. Side to side a little bit, but I did tighten that up. Um, that is a T8, so that's the other thing is if you tighten it down. It's got um, a spinning pivot, but then it becomes really stiff. So now it's really, st ow. It's really stiff to open. And there's no side to side. There's still the up and down. So it almost is better to have a little bit. Um, have it loosen up a little bit. Still didn't there. Let's just see. There, I think I got it a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit looser. So it'll... It won't like, sh it'll, you know, shake down like that. Um, so overall, I like it uh, a bit better than I did um, in the unboxing. Actually quite a bit better, but I still don't like love it. I still don't want it like on my person. Uh, I, I don't think it's going to replace my bit bar inline in my bag. Um, that just holds more bits and it just makes more sense, honestly. The only thing it doesn't have, I guess, is the... Ex Let me grab it and we can talk about that. Okay. So here's two comparables, I would say, right? You have your fulcrum, which I love. This is something you can carry easily on your person, no problem, right? Or in a pouch or something. You can carry two bits with this. Um, and then, you know, obviously you put them in there. They're four millimeter bits, so that's the downside. You could drop some extra bits in your pocket or fifth pocket if you wanted to. But on the device or whatever you want to call it, the tool, you have two. So technically you could use that as a flathead too. But anyway, then you have the bit bar inline. And I, I really like this one. I think they have another one too, the bit bar which might be bigger, uh, or this could be the big one. I don't know. Um, but this, to me, just makes more sense uh, for many reasons. So here you go. Yes, this is a shorter item, the EDS, right? But this has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bits in it. 8 bits in it. This has... Was it four, two here, and two there? Four bits. So you have twice as many bits. 
The plus side to this one would be what? You have this portion that's a little thinner, so you get a little more reach like a traditional screwdriver. But let's take a bit out, pop it in, and let's see. So you're getting an extra inch, inch and a half of, of reach on this guy. But look at the torque. You're not getting any extra torque. Um, I can grip this and torque this. I mean, I would venture to guess just as hard as I could torque this one. Um, you know, maybe there's something I'm missing. Can you, could, can you pop this one at 90? I guess you could set this one at 90 degrees and hold it like this and do stuff if you wanted to. But you're going to have that movement. It's not locked in. Um, is there a way to lock it in place? Don't think so. You could tighten the pivot so it moves a little less free, but I don't really think you, you can do much about that. Um, I do think the inline, at least one version, comes with an additional... Do I have that somewhere? I think there's one version that comes with an additional bar. Uh, I may even have that piece somewhere. I can't remember. But one of the bit bars uh, comes with an extension so you can actually extend this out and then you can have more um reach or something like that or it comes with a t or a t bar or something so you can set it up as a t um it does something like that so you can set it up like this i forget um so to me if you're choosing the best even in pocket because this has a clip it's thinner much thinner. It's a little longer, but it's thinner, and it holds four more bits. So if you're looking for the best in-pocket multi-tool, oh, that's right. Um, it does. It comes with an extra piece that magnetizes right here. You can just slap it on here, and it kind of sticks to this part right here. I, I think I have it in the box. And that, I think, extends this or turns it into a T or something like that. Um, so I don't know. I bought this guy, saw it on Kickstarter and I, I like their stuff a lot. Uh, like I said, I'm an affiliate with them. I have a link. It's down below. Um, I, it, when you watch the unboxing, you're going to see me pretty much not like this. Um, but, uh, you know, just cause I'm an affiliate doesn't mean I'm just going to say things are good. Um, I want their items to be good. And I think I see... A purpose for this for somebody for some you know there's got to be somebody out there that prefers this to this or whatever um so for you it's it's made well um and if you're not uh if you're not a bitch like me and you don't have like weak thumbs or whatever this just feels really tight uh especially with that bit in there with this t8 it's much better um so anyway if you were asking me i would just say get this bit bar in line this is just a, a much better package overall um, and just makes more sense to me. So, um, yeah, there you go. Let me know down in the comments, guys. Let me know what I missed. Like, what what could there be with this that I'm not getting with this? Like, what am I missing, right, is, is what I'm wondering. I also love the finish on this. It's like this black, slick kind of, almost, I don't know, it just feels cool. This is more of a matte. I don't know, they're both cool or whatever. But this one just makes more sense to me. So anyway, here comes the unboxing video. Um, take it with a grain of salt. Make sure you watch this first part first. Um, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And uh, I'll catch you in a second. Hey, guys. Kev here. And I have an unboxing to do for you. This is from Big Idea Designs. And I have the NAFSCO Lander in my pocket. I'm really liking this knife. It's small, um, it's very usable, it has a good detent. It's just, I don't know, I'm just digging it a lot more than I thought. I actually ordered a second one with some purple scales, see if my wife would like it. Uh, ben just has something, his design language just makes it to where you can really fire a knife out. Um, I think it's just the stud placement being like lined up with the scale just fires out of there I mean, it's crazy how much it just fires it almost feels assisted i felt the same way about the banter all right let's 
This is not a knife. This is not a drill. This is the pocket screwdriver, the everyday carry screwdriver in titanium. I, I randomly come across their projects on Kickstarter and I just back them. I'm like, oh sweet, I wanted one of those. Let me back it. This is the, the second version of this. I actually have an affiliate link with them. I probably could have hit them up. But, you know, I haven't I haven't had a lot of sales at that link, so like I feel weird hitting them up and be like, oh, can you send me one of these so I can't sell any for you? Uh, oh, this is cool. Oh, it got a little less cool when it came out. So, looks awesome. And then you take it out and it's like, oh, it's really thick. <laughs> Not that that matters, but, you know, so you get extra, you get an extra bit. The hell kind of bit is that thing? A one-eighth bit. It's kind of weird. Okay. That's the extras. Okay. 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 So here it is. It's titanium and it's got a thumb stud and essentially Oh, it's a frame lock. How does it <laughs> I just reverse flick the shit out of that. That is crazy. It's a magnetic detent. Ow, it does not work right-handed though. I think it's because of the, I think it's because of the uh, frame lock. The clip is on the frame lock, but the clip, no, it's resting on the, huh, interesting design. Look at that. So basically it pops out. Now you can obviously just do this. You just take your hand and pop it open. You're really not gonna sit here and flick this thing, but I mean, I gotta say, left-handed. Okay. Ow. Kinda works, I don't know. They need to work on that action though. It's got some stick. It locks up onto the thing, so it's titanium on titanium, interesting. Got a lot of lock rock. I mean, that's not good, but I guess it's not, you know. I mean, it is supposed to, you know, it's got a stop pin, but it's very thin. Weird design, man. There we go. All right, so maybe you just can't be on the, uh, you can't be up here. You got to be down on the clip. Yeah, it's probably loosening up. I wonder if it's on bearings or washers got some side to side there's a pivot obviously look at that look at that that fucker just shot out of there this is not meant to be flicked huh you know, the more I handle this, the more I think it might be a piece of shit. It's very hard to open. Um, why doesn't it, why didn't they just make it where you could two hand it? Like you, you can't really, you gotta like do this weird thing. Cause it just has this stud. You gotta do that and you can't slow roll it. Cause it's got this magnetic thing to it. You can't slow roll it out. So it's fucking, it's just bad design in my opinion. And then the magnet, maybe the magnet's too strong. Like it doesn't feel like it though. There's extra bits here in the back, which maybe I'm missing something. So you can just grab, how are you supposed to get these out? You slide them. You slide them down. And then what? You slide them back up. There is a T8 here. I don't know who makes these bits. They're very shiny. And then they just sit in here, these two things. I just don't understand why they made it 
to where it just has this one stud and it like is really hard to use. Yeah, if you get at it like from this, it's easy, but you can't do that because it's so small and you have a frame lock. You end up flicking it and then, you know, you're gonna have something shoot out the freaking top. Well, it's not shooting out now. I don't want to break a window, but or hit myself. Ow! Fuck! Ow! Fuck. Yeah. So it's just a pocket screwdriver, and I mean that's what it does, right? Screwdriver. You have this, and then you can screw things, and then you can put it away. I don't know. I had high hopes for this. I actually thought it was really cool. It's got a clip on it. You know, I didn't know if I'd carry it in pocket, but, you know, I thought it'd be cool to have in my bag or something. There's another bit down there. I don't know how I'm getting that one out. I just push on it or take this one and shove it out. So I guess you just kind of push it out with this one. The design of this thing is just not good. I mean, I like their products, guys. I mean, I have, like I said, I have an affiliate link. This is just bad. It's just bad design. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Um, I hate that. I don't want to sit here and say that, but. So you can have that, and then you can put one down here like that, which sits there nicely, but trying to get it out is... You can't get your finger in there because it's too small. I don't see anything else. You know, I can kind of push it like uh, like this and then grab it. Uh, and then you got to work against the magnet to get it out, I guess. Should it go in the other way? Like, no, because then it won't magnetize. And then you have this one on the back. Again, you can kind of slide like this. I guess you slide them forward. Nope, can't get it out that way. Slide it this way. Yeah, just none of the none of this works. Like it, none of it works well. You're struggling with all of it. Um. And the thumb stud placement is horrible. And then it's a frame lock, so I don't know if I'm putting pressure down or something, but I don't think that matters because there's no detent. It's a magnet, right? Yeah, there's no detent, so I'm not putting pressure on anything. I don't think that would affect it at all. No. So I'm just not able to overcome the magnet well because of the thumb stud placement. You can't flick it vertically like you normally would a knife. I mean, there, I got it, but it's really tight. This corner is really sharp right here on the frame lock. And this is a version two, I think. So I don't want to know what the version one, how? I'm a bitch. All right. I don't know what the version one would be like. This is bad. I don't even know what I, now I'm like, what did I spend on this? Like a hundred bucks for this thing? Man, all right, I might hit them up, give them some feedback, because I don't, like, I have no idea how this got past the design stage. I mean, sorry, I'm a little baffled. I must be missing a lot here, because, like, this slides all the way up, but can't get it out so it's just there and then if I try to slide the other way to get it out the other side it gets st it's stuck I can't all right we get get it's almost like a little detent there there is it's like a little detent there that
try them this way. And the lanyard's in the way. So there, I got two in. Yeah. All right, that's it. That's the, uh, um, Thai EDS two from, uh, big idea designs. So if you're interested, I guess, check it out. Um, I have a link, but I have a affiliate link. I can't recommend this one. Um, I love their pens. I love a lot of their stuff, but this one's just not going to work for me. Yeah, I'm left-handed, but um, I, I'm very good with my right hand. And um, this is just really difficult to use, even right-handed. I mean, it, I guess. I don't know. I'd rather carry a fulcrum just have a couple of mini bits on me um damn i really was excited for this so anyway i gotta go pick up my kid i love you guys i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later